Oh, class. Oh, yes. Now, we are going to do some close reading for the first time today. Now, close reading is where you read the text really, really closely and you analyze the text. And to help us analyze the text, we are going to have some symbols that we mark in the text as we read. Now, we're going to practice this after we go over these, but I want us to learn these symbols a little bit closer. Now, we highlighted some, and those are the most important ones that we really, really, really want to focus on. So, we're going to brainy those out. Okay? Mirrors and words. Mirrors and words. Uh-oh. Let's try that again. Mirrors and words. Mirrors and words. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, Repeat after me. Question. Question. Important. Important. Okay, so this is the symbol that you'll write. So you're writing a question mark, writing a question mark. And then for important, you're writing a little star. So this is our important. Okay, so repeat after me. Important. Important. Good. Life connection. Life connection. Because it's connecting to you. Connecting to you. Good. Okay, now repeat after me. Characters. Characters. Okay, central idea. Central idea. Supporting details. Supporting details. Okay, repeat after me. Central idea. Central idea. Supporting details. Supporting details. Okay, and setting. Remember, setting is the time and Excellent, okay? So setting. For time and place. Ready for time and place. So can, I, can she call you back in a few minutes, please? Okay. Setting is time and place. Setting is time and place. Excellent. Now we have point of view. Point of view. Okay. Repeat after me. Point of view. Point of view. Excellent. And inference. Okay. An inference is an educated guess, so you have to think really hard about what it is. So, an inference. Repeat after me. Inference. Inference. Okay. And figurative language. Figurative language. Good. Figurative. Figurative. Language. Language. Figurative. Figurative. Language. Language. Okay. Now, whoop, last one down at the bottom, we have mood. 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 Tone. Tone. Okay, the mood is how the author feels, so mood. Mood. Oh my gosh, I just said that backwards. Is the mood how the author feels? No. Who, how he feels? The passage. Look at your sheet. Look at your sheet. The mood is how who feels? The reader. The reader feels, okay? So the reader has the mood. The reader has the mood. Okay? And then the author has the tone. tone. So the tone, tone, we're going out because that's how the author shows it. The reader feels it. The author shows it. Okay? So first we have the mood. And then we have the tone. tone. Excellent. Okay? Now what we're going to do, we are going to teach we're going to teach these to our neighbors. Okay, so we're going to start off with these three. Remember, you have your shoulder partners. You have your shoulder partners. If we need, we can do trios, or you can talk across a little ways if you have to, because we have some students absent today. So, always, we're going to start with these three. Okay? Yes. Okay? Repeat after me. Question. Question. Important. Important. Life connection. Life connection. Teach. Okay. Question. Important. Life connection. Question. Important. Life connection. Okay, class D class. Yes, we can. Yes. Excellent. I love how you all talk at the same time. And we did those motions together. Love it. You just earned a point. Yes. Okay. Now let's look at verse three. Thank you. Let's look at verse three. We have four. Okay. Repeat after me. Characters. Characters. Central idea. Central idea. Supporting details. Supporting details. Setting. Setting. Okay. Teach. Okay. Characters. Central idea. Supporting details, setting, okay, characters, central idea, supporting details, setting. Class D class? Yes, yes. Wonderful job. Okay, now we're going to do these three.
three. Repeat after me. Point of view. Point of view. Inference. Inference. Figurative language. Figurative language. Okay.